Hey everyone, welcome to episode 9 of FamCast. My name is Trevor, and I'm here with my co-host Trey. What up? And Tim. Heyo! And we've got lots to talk about today. Uh, San Diego Comic Con was last weekend, got a lot of uh, big, big trailers, announcements, so we're just going to sit down and kind of talk about it all. I don't think any of us have seen all of them, so it'll kind of be a good discussion so we can kind of open things up to... Uh, especially Tim, I know you haven't seen a, a few of the smaller ones, so this should be an interesting conversation. Yeah, I had to work a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I guess that's understandable. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. Uh, the, I, I don't know. Do, should we uh, start off with the heavy hitters, or uh, do we want to start with some of the smaller ones? I say start oh. with the heavy hitters. Let's go big. Yeah, okay. Go big well, or go home, right? Let's. Yeah, right. for sure. Let's. Uh, Let's do Thor then. Uh, I'll I'll start. I'll pick the first one. I say we talk about Thor. Okay, I've seen that one. <laughs> the I mean the first thing that gripped me right away is this whole like '80s aesthetic that they're going for. It's fucking awesome. It, it's just so different than the the previous two Thor movies. It just really pulled me in, especially the music. I'm just like a I'm a huge sucker for like that whole retro synth thing that's getting kind of big uh, again. <laughs> Uh, but I, I really liked it. It looks really exciting, especially now that Hulk, uh, Hulk is back into the mix. Saw him have that little conversation with Thor. That was nice. He hasn't really talked a whole lot previously. So, what did you guys think? Yeah, Try. I mean, I think I'm, I'm I'm excited for the whole like World War Hulk look that they gave him. Um, that's gonna be good. I'm excited. I think the the aesthetic of the movie is really very very pleasing to the eye. Uh, yeah, and the soundtrack, you know, me being in it's kind of an audio files, you know, it's, it sounds really good. I'm excited for what the rest of the soundtrack is going to be like. For sure. The, uh, I like seeing all the, uh, I like the, me and Zach were talking about this the other day, how, um, they're showing the other gods. Like you saw Fenrir in there. Um, Surtur. And I, I, who's that? That was like the fire demon at the end. Oh, cool. Yeah. See, I, I didn't even know that. Mm-hmm. Wait, did you That's say Fenrir? Yeah, like the wolf. The wolf. Oh man, he's in Smite. I play him. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So a couple things that I kind of think are interesting from just watching the trailer is, you know, uh, the last Thor movie was a dark, whatever that that one was. It ended with Loki, you know, sitting on a throne. Uh, no, you're good. Uh, where 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 Odin is, right? Like that's everyone remembers that. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so so we still won't. I'm hoping we find out what happened to Odin. Maybe I missed that in the trailer. I don't think they showed that. But the other part is, is clearly, I mean, maybe again, I misinterpreted this, but Thor and Loki are going to work together again, right? Looks like it. That's how it looks. So it kind of looked like that, which is is an interesting aspect because now I clearly we haven't seen the movie, so we don't know what's going to happen. But I find it kind of interesting how how they keep making Loki out to be this like good guy bad guy what you know what I mean like like he's him and Thor again are working together but Loki I- I- in general aspects is is not that guy right like he's he's not really someone to really want to help out Thor he's, he's, he's probably doing it for like some sort of personal gain that's going to be in the movie. I don't know what but exactly. It's but like, but it's like, like last movie, it was a personal game, you know, mm-hmm. you know, he, it, that, that's what it, and it's just like, but at what point is it going to be okay? Well, I feel like they're just doing this buddy, buddy movie with him and Thor now because they, because everybody likes Loki. I mean, who doesn't like Loki, right? Everybody likes like Loki. Loki. Well, Tumblr loves Loki. <laughs> I can't stand him. So, so, okay. What? So the majority of people other than Trey like Loki and, I, they keep doing this buddy buddy thing and I'm excited for the movie I can't wait for the movie but I, I just when I saw that it's just like so they're just working together again okay cool got it it's two brothers in space <laughs> with the green it's, just, like, a, it's, it's like a it's a buddy cop movie just, right Is that it's the, just called two brothers time? two brothers who hate each other must come together to fight the greater evil again so you think it's going to be more of a more of a Thor Loki team up more than a uh, a Thor Hulk team up? Oh no, I'm sure it'll be, be all three. Why yeah, not? I'm sure the the it's going to have the trifecta there, and that's a great idea. Like, don't get me wrong. Again, I'm not like going like ah, rah, rah, rah. but I just I don't. It's it's kind of like the same formula I feel like that the last movie had, and it was a good formula and it works. But I I feel like 
as a person. So one of my my roommate loves Loki and thinks that Loki's just actually a good guy in disguise, right? That's him. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, that's not Loki. Loki's a jerk. And he's supposed to be a jerk, and he's a jerk, I guess, when needed, but I just, I don't know. That I, I'm rambling on. That's just my opinion of the whole thing. Yeah. He's a anti-hero? Is that uh, yeah, so, classify him as I an guess. anti-hero? I or? wouldn't classify him as an anti-hero. I think he's just a villain. <laughs> just, he, he's a villain, straight up. He just but he's, does things Right, and he should be. Game. That's his thing. But he keeps helping Thor. Because it's his brother. Yeah, but he you doesn't help your brother out, right? Excuse me. So isn't but that I like my the, brother. But then in the end of the whole deal, he's going to like do something to do evil. Like he's going to be helping. I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be helping Thor to get to the Tesseract again. But, so but what, what, point what, does Thor, what point does Thor be like, no, you're a jerk. You know, uh, like go away. What, a, what about that makes you... Th- feel like he's not an anti-hero because to me that kind of describes anti-hero to a T. Oh, well, maybe I don't know what anti-hero is then, I guess. But like like Catwoman. Like Catwoman isn't really a villain, but she's also not a good guy either. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't think there's a good bone in his body. You know what I mean? Like he's just he's Loki. He's like the So you think he's like 100% evil. And oh, I agree yeah. with Trey. Yeah. I agree with Trey 100% on that. Like he's like instead of him doing like, "Oh yeah, I'm going to help him to do his thing, but it's going to help me do my thing." It's like, "No, I'm going to help myself in order to get this thing that I need to make more evil." You know? Sure. Yeah. I don't know. No, I, I, I think, I like I think he's kind of shown that in the past movies. For sure. Like he's, I know he's going after the Tesseract again, or the blue uh, soul gem. So, or not the soul gem, but the, you know what I mean. The infinite. He's got to get his gem. pimp cane again. Yep, he's getting his pimp cane again. Because everything, Loki's whole character is everything is about himself. Like he's yep. all about personal gain, hundred percent personal gain. That's all he yep. cares about. So it throws me off when he's helping out Thor. And then, you know, he does it to do whatever happened to Odin. And now he's helping out Thor again. And I'm just like, okay, so even, okay, so if that's if that's the case and it's all on Loki's, okay, he's doing everything for personal gain. He's even helping out Thor because it's just going to help him in the end. And that's his whole point, which is fine. Then again, what point does Thor be like, no, you done screwed us over enough. Stop it. Because I don't I trust you at in, all. I think that's what leads into Infinity War. If you want to talk about based that next. On, <laughs> based on what we saw in the trailer, it seems like like Thor doesn't want to go to him, but he has to kind of thing, you know? Well, that, like that was not, the same thing in the other movie. Right, right, exactly. Or the same thing in Avengers. You're right. You know, like, it got him locked up, and then, uh, you know, um, I don't know. I don't want to help you, but I need your help. Part 7. That's, uh, yeah, we can... Uh, if you feel like we've covered Thor enough, we can go ahead and talk about uh, Infinity War. That little uh, low, that little low leak. quality trailer. Oh, but it, it was such a great low quality trailer. The leak that you can see everywhere now. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I so wish I, they just put out uh, that trailer. That'd be nice. Like I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't at this point. So I will say because I felt the same way. Like, come on, everyone's seen it. Just release it. Um, I guess Kevin actually said that that's actually not going to be the version that they release. He okay. says that that version works well for like a Comic Con audience that's you know just all all about the hype, but for like a broader audience that isn't all just like comic book nerds, they have right. to like recut it to make it more kind of like a uh, like a general a general trailer. something that's going to please yeah. like the general audience, you know? Yep, I can understand. So that. I'm thinking we'll see. Some, I'd be really surprised if we didn't see anything before Thor, just because I mean this launches in May, like we're already a little like barely over half a year away. So it's very surprising we don't even have a trailer yet. What if they put the trailer at the end of Thor? I feel like that would make sense. Like, make sense for them to do that. That'd be cool. I mean, that'd that'd be something different to do. Right. Um, uh, that kind of leads me into that that first part of that trailer, because a a lot of people have said, "Oh, you know, just watching the trailer it's a spoiler for Infinity War." But I, I don't really, I don't really feel that way. Like, it it starts off with Thor floating in space, and the Guardians find him. Right. Yep. Right. That doesn't that doesn't really seem like a spoiler well, to me. No. Like you don't know how he gets there. If you if you honestly thought that Thor was going to die in this movie, you're dumb. 
Well, okay, maybe not dumb. That's mean, but like Wait. you know, that's not going to happen. In in not this... Infinity War, in the new Thor movie. Okay, yeah. yeah. In the say. new Thor movie, you you oh you, you just, you're saying you, people shouldn't have expected him to to die. Like seeing him is a spoiler because you're like, oh, well, now he's alive and now I know that he's alive. Right. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't think, or at least I haven't heard of anyone that expected him to die, but, yeah, that might be might be a consensus out there. Who knows? I, I thought that but, was a great way to start that trailer. I'd love to see that whole, you know, uh, Star-Lord, pick that, that whole group picking him up. That was great. That was fantastic. Mm-hmm. That was a great segment into them connecting. I mean, the the whole thing was just you. You have all these different. I mean, the the big one is the Avengers and the Guardians, right? Like them finally oh, yeah. coming together for the first time because you've got so many different personalities. But also seeing Doctor Strange in there too. I love Doctor yeah, Strange. Interesting. I'm excited for that because he's he's kind of the one they Ant Man kind of started off on his own, but they brought him in for Civil War. But now the the only one that's still on Earth that's kind of separated is Doctor Strange. Like he's a uh, like well, I guess going back to Thor, he's going to be in that too. So maybe we'll see how he ties in a little bit more in that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't know. That's, I, mean, I think that's what I'm most excited for about Thor is because we haven't we know that Doctor Strange is in there, but we don't know in what capacity. Right. Oh, yeah, it's true. Hmm. Like, I've heard it's going to be, like I said before, like a, a, a buddy cop movie. So it's going to be like them traveling through space to get to whatever... To fix I'm totally cool problem. with that. Oh yeah, I'm totally fine with it. Like, give me that for sure. Right, for sure. That'll be got, awesome. You got Thor, Hulk, Doctor Strange all together doing something. Hell yeah. Right. I'm I'm all for it. So uh, as far as going back to the the Infinity War leaked trailer, what are what are some th- uh, some scenes that stand out to you? Uh, Spider Man. Finally showing Spider Man like his, uh, his Iron spidey Spider? sense in a way. Yeah, oh yeah, in the Iron Spider suit. And sort of, yeah. Right. <laughs> excited. It's gonna be good. The MCU Iron Spider. Yeah, the MCU Iron Spider. Yeah. That. And yeah, the, he was like laying on the ground there, looking pretty, uh, pretty bad. Beat up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you guys watched that, uh, the video of uh, what's his name, Mike Ruffalo, saying like everyone's gonna die. I was like, oh, way to go. He spoiled everything, but that was hilarious. He's like, oh god, I'm gonna get fired, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Or, or seeing uh, one of my scenes that uh, stands out is Steve Rogers walking out of the uh, the shadows with ah, that, yeah. uh, that fucking rugged ass beard. Yeah. Yep. Looking like a Venom Snake. Hmm. Yeah. That was awesome. That was great. I've heard a lot of people say he's going to go under uh, Nomad instead of Captain America. Going to go down like that timeline. It would make sense. Or not timeline. Um, What am I trying to say? That comic arc. Con, yeah, I mean, it would make sense. I don't see yeah. like he he wouldn't be able to you know come out of the woodworks in the middle of New York and be like, "Hey guys, I'm Captain America again." Right, he would get right. arrested like on the spot because he's technically like a war criminal right now. Right, right, right. <laughs> for sure. The other one that stands out to me is uh, uh, Tony Stark getting his ass handed to him. Oh yeah, beat the fuck up by Thanos, which yeah, is I'm to be up. expected. Right, like everyone's everyone's gonna get their ass kicked. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm really Tell, uh, excited to see the Black Order. Hmm. I'm excited to see this just in general. Like it, it has to. You have to think if this movie's gonna be like two, two and a half hours, they have a lot to fit in because mm-hmm. you've got everyone coming together for the very first time, and you have to fit in a story somewhere, like in all this dialogue, yep. as far oh. as like how Thanos first comes here, the fight. Someone like people are gonna die. Is this like, a that's two a part, lot in though? just a short amount of time. So they originally they had it as a part one and part two, but then they split it into now it's they're two separate movies. You have Avengers three, which is um, Infinity War, and then you have Avengers four, which is Untitled. And they said it's Untitled because of a spoiler, like the yep. title of the movie is a spoiler. Oh, see, I wasn't aware of that. So what some people are saying. And th- this will kind of go off on a tangent, but I, I promise I'll reel it back in. Uh, Captain Marvel, they announced some new information about her movie. Uh, it's going to be set in the early 90s with Nick Fury. And that's when he still has both of his eyes. And they're going to be fighting the Skrull. 
Yeah, I'm and excited to see that. What what was that? I'm excited to see that. Oh yeah, me too. I you I'll have you maybe explain the scroll after I'm done because you obviously I I don't know much about yeah. them. I just know that they're bad guys, and I think I played one in Marvel vs. Capcom three. Yep. <laughs> yep. There we go. <laughs> mm-hmm. So um, a lot of people are saying that Avengers four is actually going to be something with the scroll involved, and that's why they have the title redacted. That's just one of the rumors floating around out there. But with that being said, I will throw it over to Trey to kind of explain that. The so scrolls. I'm, I'm thinking, oh, hopefully, I mean, if, it, if it leads up to the scroll war, that would be insane. But um, the scrolls are basically a race of aliens that are um, shapeshifters. Um, so there's the, there's the scroll war, which is um, uh, the scrolls came to Earth, obviously, and then they... Uh, um, they like took the the roles of some superheroes, like a uh, Spider Woman was a, a scroll and all kinds of stuff. It was awesome, man. It was a good run. So, with that being said, do you think that there's someone currently in the MCU, even before Infinity War, that could be undercover, like an undercover scroll? Yeah. Um, I have to think on it. You guys can keep okay. continue to talk. I'm gonna I'm gonna think. No, no, I was just curious because obviously I'm, I, I'm decent with my DC knowledge, but I'm I'm pretty worthless when it comes to Marvel. So it would it would have to happen. It would have to be, I don't know who. I mean, maybe maybe it would be Nick Fury if they would go down that route. Ooh, that'd be, well, that'd be weird because he would be the one that brought everyone together. True, but but was that the right Nick Fury? Was that dun dun? You know, like he's been gone for a little <laughs> while now, so... All right, interesting. It's like he comes back and it's like the the opposite eye is like has has the eye patch right. over They're it. Like, like, wait a oh, minute. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's my little tangent on um, the fourth Avenger movie. Yeah, I could see I could see the fourth Avenger being like the Scroll War or definitely having to do with like the Scrolls and the Kree because I know the Kree have been talked about in um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. Uh, yeah, that I haven't watched Agents of Shield, but I remember that was a pretty big deal. Yep, yep. Hopefully, in the uh, for sure. I, I think that'd be really cool, uh, especially. You have to think if this was originally planned as a part one, part two movie, and they changed it that drastically. I don't. They have to have something big planned. I mean, I, I, do we know the runtime of it? I'd I'd be content with sitting in a theater for three hours. Oh yeah, I'd oh be, I'd, I'd totally be cool with it. It could be five Will it hours. Happen? <laughs> right. So how long was uh what was that movie? That tar- the one? new Tarantino movie? I forget which one it was. Like, is it, they're like cowboys and stuff. Shit. Can't oh um. Shit. What was that? <laughs> Something eight, right? Oh yeah, hateful eight. The, yeah, the hateful eight. That movie was like forever long, wasn't it? I don't know. I never did see that. Titanic was three hours and 15 minutes long. Yeah, I'd be okay with seeing it. As, as long as I can get a good story, you know, and enough information and a nice cliffhanger for the next part, please yeah. make, it, make it as long as you need it to be. I will sit in that theater. Smile the whole time. Yes. It's, it's insane to me to think that we have been building this MCU for almost 10 years now. Right, it's crazy. Like, all started with Iron Man. I don't think anybody could have imagined how big and how how far that it's come in just a matter of 10 years think about how terrible it could have gone if uh, robert downey jr was not tony stark (laughs) right right Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna suck when he leaves that role like i know he's not gonna do it forever but he's just they couldn't find anyone to to top him they'd have to retire iron man they could, yeah, there, they, there's they plenty would. of Iron Man universe to pull from something. They don't have to do Tony Stark, but they'd have to at least retire Tony Stark from Iron Man. I agree. Yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to bring him. Like, you can't replace him like you replaced Rhodey, you know? like <laughs> <laughs> Right. Nobody <laughs> noticed that at all. Which, right. speaking of, everyone's pissed about um, in the comic books right now. Um, that war- The mantle of War Machine is being taken up by the Punisher. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, everyone's like pissed. Well, I don't know everyone, but some of the people that I know are kind of pissed off about it. And I'm just kind of like, well, I mean, it makes sense. He's practically War Machine without the armor as it is. So, throw him in a set <laughs> right. of armor he, and he's going to go. He is him. a War Machine. Yeah, he is a War Machine. 
But oh yeah, he is also a part of Hydra right now too. So that's probably another another reason why people are mad. I did see that. Yeah, yeah I was reading that when I was reading those uh, Secret Empire spoilers. Mm-hmm. Oh, spoilers! I'm not going to read that. Oops. That's cool. This whole thing, this whole uh, podcast is a spoiler alert. It's all yeah. good. Whatever. <laughs> I'll just put your your same spoiler warning from last time. That was the best spoiler warning. That was the best. (laughs) Spoiler warning. All right, what's Um, next album plate? So I will uh, will start us off with another. I feel like I keep making these suggestions, but um, I feel like we just have to talk about Justice League. Oh, yeah. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Inhumans looks terrible. Okay, you can continue. Oh, it looks bad. Yeah, and humans. Oh no, good. I'm thinking Runaways. Sorry. Yeah, and humans look. Oh, Runaways looks I'm, awesome. I'm, Surprisingly, that's good. But, that's uh, good to hear. It's Brian Singer again, so it's probably gonna be shit. But anyways. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Like, they just need to put a restraining order on Brian Singer and anything like I, Marvel I just related. Wish, I just wish Marvel would get the rights back to all their their titles. I know, man. Anyways, know. yeah, Justice League. Let's let's go. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. En- enough about that. We'll uh, we'll jump into Justice League. So everyone here saw the Justice League trailer, right? Yes. Yes. I'm fucking hype. I and I I know. I'll just say this. I I don't want to I don't want to compare the two. Marvel has had ten years to build this awesome universe. I love it. It's awesome. But me as a DC fan, I'm so excited to finally see a Justice League movie. Like Hell I've been yeah. waiting so long for this. We've been waiting forever for it. Right. It feels like it's. I don't know. I mean, when did when did Man of Steel even come out? Man of Steel was two thousand. Was that was six? It, no, 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 no. Man of Steel, I think it was twelve. What? Uh, There's so. no way. Yeah, I think no. so. Um, let me let me find out. Uh, Google. I'm pretty sure it was twenty uh, twenty thirteen. Oh, thir- wow, twenty thirteen. Yeah. Because uh, 2006 wow. was Return, Superman Returns. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. That's I knew that there was something in <laughs> 2006. That terrible. Oh, movie. damn. That's wild. It feels like that. it's been a lot longer since Man of Steel. And um, Man of Steel was I, solid. I liked Man of Steel. That's I, I hear a lot of mixed things on Man of Steel. I, I enjoyed it, um, but I've heard a lot of people say that they just absolutely hate it. It was okay, but it at, but you know at me, that time, I'm Superman. I, right? And that that's <laughs> that, we could talk about that in a completely different oh, podcast yeah. for an hour too. <laughs> um, I don't like at least when I saw Man of Steel, I did not expect it to start off a cinematic universe at all. Oh yeah, no, me neither. Like I I was always hopeful, but they were just all over the place. They had their Nolan Batman, then they came out with this Man of Steel. It it just wasn't looking hopeful, but now we, we finally have everything coming together. Um, and I'm I'm just really excited because um, we had already seen a lot of Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. You mm-hmm. know, the, our DC Holy Trinity. Everyone looks awesome. Wonder Woman's the best out of the three, hands down. Not even up for debate. Um, just kidding. You guys can chime in if you want to. Mm-hmm. Well, so can I? I just want to make a comment on something that was said during the trailer that kind Please of do. threw me off. So I'm a big Flash fan, right? Flash, my favorite superhero by yes. far. And one of the statements he said in there was that he doesn't normally fight. He just pushes people. Yeah, now, yeah. I don't know if he was just being ha 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 funny or whatnot, because I was also under the impression that this movie, this flash that we were getting, and maybe this changed since, since I was last told, was a, a, an older flash. Like, he was, uh, like he's been in the role for quite a while. Um, so and I've... Sorry. Well, well and, and if that's true, and I, again, I could be wrong... I would expect that he would, you know, have already fought some enemies of his own. <laughs> right. I've uh, been with his uh, rogue gallery for a couple of years. Like, he's already got <laughs> blue lightning and everything. I'll, I'll say this, because I, I haven't heard that about Flash, but I've heard that almost verbatim about Batman. Okay. So I don't know if maybe, like, maybe, like, someone got that mixed up. But I've heard that about Batman to where Batman's been doing this for a long time. He's supposed to be more based off of the... Um, like Dark Knight Returns, not not that old, but I think they based his his style off of off of that. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, as far as Flash goes, he seems just from like what I've seen, he seems fairly new. I mean, he's a definitely a younger he's, guy. Yeah, he's definitely younger. Like yeah, which? The youngest out of him. 
and you guys remember in was it was it was it uh, Batman vs Superman? I think it was Batman vs Superman when they showed uh, when they showed off the Flash for the first time, quote unquote. The yeah. Flash. Dude, did he yeah. not look completely different? But he had long oh. hair and everything. Well, I, I don't know. That was also what we have a a year between those movies. I don't know. I'm just I'm He's, nitpicking at this point for no reason. I know um, it's just the little things I notice when I'm when I'm watching these things for him. Sure. Um, and I'm like I'm I don't I'm super stoked. I can't wait. He has the humor, which is great. Super. That was yeah. The humor is important. Yeah, Very humor, important. especially for him, is extraordinarily important. That was awesome. Um, I was just. I, I'm just curious as to where he stands, I guess, at this point. And I and and I don't know if you told me this, Trevor, and maybe you have because you try to keep me up on this stuff as much as you possibly can. I didn't know that his standalone movie was going to be Flashpoint. Right. That's yeah. That's going to be that amazing. Was at Comic Con, yeah. Yeah, that was just announced at Comic Con, which it's very. Uh, I'm very interested to see what happens there because they they hadn't announced that previously, and I don't even know if it was planned previously because he's on his third director at this point yep. the flash movie is oh so with that being oh. said yeah the flash movies had some issues um like creative differences um so it, it seems like warner brothers has this idea in mind and the directors you know don't really agree so they don't do it so i'm a little worried about the flash movie but flashpoint sounds interesting because it, it's a solid story it's a very good story you know, like you know um Barry goes his whole life, you know, regretting that he couldn't do anything to save his mom, and then he finally tries to do something about it and fucks everything up. Right. Like typical Barry Allen going back and <laughs> right. with the timeline right. fashion. Um, but no, I love Barry. Barry's a good guy. And I think that I, I'm a little worried because I, I think that they're going to use this to kind of retcon some stuff. I think they're going to use Flashpoint to kind of really bring everything in. Like, if you think about it, Flashpoint can change anything that they, they want to change. Yep. Like, they could they could recast someone that might, like, maybe is thinking about not being oh. Batman or something like that. Mm. So, I don't know. I'm I'm a little worried, but at, at the same time, this is going to be Flash's first movie, and I think it's a, I think it's a good starting point, um, especially with the TV show out. I don't think... I think the people that are interested will have already learned about his origin... Granted, it's not like Spider-Man to where we've seen his origin story like twice already. A bajillion right. times, three times. Right, but <laughs> I I think it'll, I, I think the the TV show is popular enough that most people kind of understand that, you know. Freak accident, fastest man alive, went back to save his mom. Right. Fucked it up. Right. Yeah. And he'll keep doing that over and over again. Right. I think, um, my opinion for Flash, I think he's gonna be like. Um, like Spider-Man's role, how he was in the Avengers Civil War. Like he's going to be yeah. like that young guy that comes in to kind of like bring it all together, you know? Okay. I definitely think he seems like the most, I won't say like the most uh, hopeful, but I, I think he, he can bring a lot of positivity yeah, to this kind of grim, I mean, grim, dark universe other than like Wonder Woman like Wonder Woman brought some of that especially in her her latest movie like how hopeful she is I mm -hmm. fucking love that still haven't Woman. seen that movie by the way oh, oh so man good, it's dude. so good that's that's their like that needs to be their new standard like like Wonder Woman is DC's new standard like you have to at least be as good as Wonder Woman Wonder Woman that's or like, Iron Man 1 which one a lot. A Wonder Woman oh <laughs> Didn't even think about it. It's just instant wonder. Oh, man. I mean, I'm opposite, but we all know that's because I I'm, I like Marvel more. But that's just right. Me. Like we're that's always going to be us. I want to <laughs> have a discussion just you two, and I'm just going to sit back with some popcorn and be like, okay, Marvel yeah. versus Marvel versus DC go. Sure. I hate those conversations. I man. know, I'll, and that's why it. I want to do it. I'll do it, but I hate it. I like why can't I just enjoy both? You can't have. Your ice creaming and eat it too, Trevor. Okay, yes, stop I it. Yes, I can, Tim. What's well, like I, I eat I both, both for dinner, but I'm just I lean more towards Marvel. Well, but yeah, yeah. And that's that's the thing about you two, especially you two doing it is, I think the biggest part about that is, you guys are friends. So either it's just going to tear your friendship apart, or you'll be what normal you know good friends do, and you guys could have a nice logical discussion about it, mm -hmm. and you could enjoy each person's thing while giving your own two cents. 
and oh, that would sure. be I, good. We do that all the time, anyways. Like we'll we'll go see like the latest Marvel movie, and like afterwards, I'll talk to Trey for like half an hour, and be like, oh, like who was this? Where do they fit into this story? And like he'll tell me about like other story arcs, and it's it's cool to learn about the other side that I'm not as familiar with, and I. I think Trey feels the same way. I, yeah, I don't yeah. want to speak for him. For sure. No, I'm definitely about that because I, I mean, watching Wonder Woman, I think I asked you a bunch of questions afterwards and same thing with uh, Batman vs. Superman. Same way. Right. Oh, that, that just kind of sparked one thing about the trailer for me. So the trailer was awesome. I think it's going to be a really good movie. Uh, but the one thing that really stood out was when Steppenwolf said there were no guardians mm. or not guardians uh, lanterns. lanterns yeah dude Ooh. yeah that that gave me chills i was just like oh fuck we finally have confirmation that not that there was any doubt that you know they weren't going to do you know lanterns at some point cuz they had already announced the green lantern core movie right but just to hear them like say it like fuck here we go <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be exciting is it hal jordan do you think it'll be hal jordan or do you think it'll be john so here, here's my thought on that. Hal Jordan is the first Earth Lantern. Right. So with that being said, I want it to be Hal. Um, now, I, 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 I guess they did confirm at Comic-Con that they said um, the Green Lantern Corps movie is going to be both Hal and John. What? I so we know that, that they're both going to be in there, which is fucking cool. Hell so yeah. we at least have multiple Earth Lanterns. So who's to say that in the Justice League movie, if they show up at the end or in the after credits, whatever it is, who's to say we don't see both of them? I know, uh, what's his name, Tyrese Gibson, right? Right, that dude's been going at it for a yeah, long he's been, time. He's trying to be John for like oh, forever. Right. You know they've got him cast. Oh, I, like, I would hope at so. At this point in time, you, you've got Green Lantern cast for sure at this point. You're just keeping it under wraps. Mm-hmm. Um, I am interested to see who, the, who they'll cast as Hal Jordan. Um because he's kind of like a like a Barry in my opinion, to where he's um, he's going to be kind of more quippy, more bringing more like the the humor to the the Justice League, yeah. to where pretty much everyone else is, I don't know, a little little darker, a little more uh, serious. I um, but I, one thing that sorry, go ahead. No, Tim. no, no. I'm so I was just going to say I still think Ryan Reynolds did fine. I don't think the movie was good. I think oh, a lot of that had to do with the writers, but I think. Ryan Reynolds was funny. No, I I agree with you one hundred percent there. I think Ryan Reynolds was a great Hal Jordan. You know, I you know dislike the movie that and that that is what <laughs> it is. But as a as a Hal Jordan actor, I think he did great. I think he fit the role very well. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely. Shit, what was I gonna say? I shouldn't have let Tim talk <laughs> because I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, we were talking about Green Lanterns. Uh, who who even knows? John Stewart. Or John Stewart. Yeah. yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, um, I'm wondering because Steppen. For those that don't know, Steppenwolf is the the bad guy in the Justice League movie. Um, so he's the one that you see like comes down from from what looks to be a mother box and looks like he's fucking shit up. What uh, is so he? I'm, or it? What is he? Yeah, I don't know that character myself. Um, so he's kind of like um. Uh, like Dark Side's like l- lieutenant general, right hand man. I don't know what you would want to classify him as, uh, but he's part of um, like Apocalypse. Uh-huh. So Dark Side rules Apocalypse, and Steppenwolf's there with him. Um, they're part of like the old gods, um, or sorry, the the new gods. I'm thinking <laughs> I'm going back to WoW. I've got mm-hmm. WoW pulled up uh, on my that's the first thing on my screen. Because one of the things I caught from the from the trailer is when they said something about your Krypton or something. He's not here or something something oh, like no that. Oh, no Kryptonian. Yeah, yeah no so Krypton- I'm assuming that yeah. has to do with something. Yeah, so he's basically saying like Steppenwolf's here, and he's like, "Oh, you don't even have your Kryptonian protector at this point." Mm, okay. So like, because ev- everyone in space like seems to know about the Kryptonians, like they're pre- a pretty big deal. So the fact that Earth doesn't have its Krypton anymore is like, oh, well, you guys don't have your defense, so we're going to come fuck shit up. So at the end of the trailer, who do you think that was that, uh, the, it's, that Alfred was talking oh, to? It's Superman. It's Superman. Do you think it's, it's Superman? Superman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 99.9% percent A lot sure of people think it's Lantern. Okay, here's my thing on that, because you know, I, I saw people even in our in our fam chat say that. So you see, you see someone walk up to Alfred, and he's like, he said you would come. How would Batman even know about the Lanterns at this point? Like, True. ever since Superman died, he's been working on bringing everyone together. He doesn't have any information about the Lanterns. <laughs> right, there was no now, flat strife with the Green Lantern on there. 
<laughs> right, right. So that that's my biggest thing on there. Uh, on but that he's Batman. He knows things. Right. Batman knows everything, obviously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is true. Um, I just, I just don't see that happening. I don't see him knowing that the Green Lanterns exist unless something happens. I mean, obviously, I haven't seen the movie. I can't say what happens in between <laughs> there. Exclusive, uh, but no. just <laughs> right, right. Exclusive, straight from Famcast. <laughs> um, no, I, I, <laughs> it just doesn't seem feasible to me. Like it, it has to be Superman, because, like you said, Batman, Batman expects everything, so he he knows that Clark isn't down for the count, and that he's gonna be back mm-hmm. in his black and silver Superman suit with a fucking mullet. Mullet, it'll beard. be it'll be beautiful. God, I hope so. That'd be so cool. Like, as much as I hate uh, Superman, yeah. like, that suit is badass. Yeah, it's fucking cool. Because what did they say? What did they say? It was, he was like, uh, he said you'd come. Let's hope it's not too late. Was that kind of, like, yeah, roughly what he said? That's pretty, I think that's, yeah, I think that's everything he yeah, said. Yeah, I think it's, which, like word for word. Which, I mean, I guess at that point, you know, Alfred knows who Superman is, right? So that would also make sense as to why Alfred is not, like, spooked necessarily because i guess if he's right. you know so uh, that would make that would make sense in saying let's hope you're not too late would emphasize that alfred also knows how strong the person is standing before him so sure. understanding that power would understand that him by him saying that he knows that superman can definitely help as to where if it was a lantern he wouldn't necessarily know so much about what that you know so i don't know diving too much he wouldn't ex- no, no, I, I think you're right. Like, why would Alfred know what, what he, a lantern even is? You right. Know? Right. Especially But obviously that. the... Exactly. It, but the fact that Steppenwolf, you know, is talking about, like, lanterns, that, that gives me a lot of hope for this Green Lantern Corps movie and just the, the Green Lanterns in general. Because there's so much you can do with those. I love the lanterns. I mean, they could go into, like, a whole... I, I doubt they would do, like, a... um like the war of light where they bring in like all the different colors, but they could, who knows down the road, they yeah, could bring, you know. you know, the, the red lanterns or something. Um, can I'm I, excited. can I just say how happy I am to be living in a time where these movies are becoming a reality? Oh, for sure, man. Like we are living in the golden age, like of, of superhero movies, of animation, of video games. It's like just, this is a great time to be a nerd. It's such a good time. But I'm sure they said that when the, when the Nintendo came out too. So, <laughs> Mm-hmm. This is true. <laughs> the, the next step is going to be, you know, you're actually going to get superpowers and we're going to be too old for that. God, don't tease me. <laughs> I, would, I would love that shit so much. I mean, we are genetically modifying, like, babies already, so. I know. Have you seen Boss Baby? That thing's amazing. Oh, my God. Bo- Boss Baby? Boss Baby was amazing. I watched it the other night. It was great, okay? You don't. Oh, <laughs> the movie oh, was Tim. glorious. Are you, Tim, did you buy your tickets for the Emoji movie yet? No, not yet. <laughs> thinking about it <laughs> it's gonna be like the one percent is just tim, it's tim. <laughs> <laughs> so for those who didn't Fantastic. know uh, the emoji movie has a zero percent on rotten tomatoes right it did go up to three percent today oh, oh excuse me yeah well did go up to three percent i still don't give a fuck boss right. baby was awesome okay just just trust me it i'll check it out amazing tim. thank you Let's see. So we covered. Well, is there anything? Oh, Cyborg. We didn't talk about Cyborg. Mm, yes. Let's talk about him real quick. Yeah, he looks way better. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think he looks really good. And I, I love the part of him taking over the uh, the Bat Crawler or yeah, whatever dude, it is. Bat Walker. And he's like, "Don't worry." Bat Gundam. He does it in this like super dark voice. He's like, "Don't worry, Alfred. I got this." Like super calm, and Alfred's like, "Uh, who are you?" Right. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's gonna be good. He he looks. He doesn't look as anorexic as he was in that first trailer we saw. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anyone and has seen our YouTube video of that, of us reacting to it. But, uh, yeah, he was looking uh, pretty slim. But he looks he's looking good now. And that could be in, I think we talked about this in that video too. It could be something to where, like, he gets more of these mother boxes and, like, it, it adds more to him. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. it, it could have been, like, when he starts off with just the one, it doesn't really give him, like, it's rebuilding his body at this point. Mm-hmm. So maybe it doesn't give him a lot of, like, mass. And then, you know, as he as he gets others, it actually, you know, builds him up, bulks him out. So where do you guys remember Cyborg from the most? Do you think it was Teen Titans or the Justice League movies? Teen Titans. Teen Titans, Teen right? Titans, okay. For sure. Good. Makes sense, right? That's where you'd see him from. The one thing that scares me about him, and and again, I could just be looking too much into things, is I hope that he doesn't just sound robotic the whole time. Because that's what kind of scared me about a couple parts in the trailer was he, he, like that, even that saying he said to Alfred, it just, 
it, there wasn't a lot of like emotion in his words at all. Right. I see what you're saying. So I hope that whoever's playing him and how this thing goes, he he has characteristic. Because Cyborg from Teen Titans is the shit. Like, dude he is awesome. He better say booyah. Boo- in that booyah. Movie. Right. Right. <laughs> Right, so I just I hope I hope he has a a lot more character than what I've seen already. Of the two words that he said, right, right. Don't worry, I've got this. Does it? <laughs> no character <laughs> at all. Yeah, I think uh, Flash is looking. That's probably my my favorite part about that trailer because he was so funny. Yeah, and he's awkward, and I I know how he feels about that. I just like same Flash. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> that uh that part when they're by the uh the bat signal. Yeah. And yeah. uh <laughs> and uh Gordon looks over <laughs> and it's just flash there. He's like, Oh, wow, they, they went away really quick. That's rude. They just did just like dashes off. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I think uh, the, uh the next thing that I I'm thinking of on my list here that I'm looking at, we have the um, there's actually a Krypton show coming to Sci-Fi. I don't know if you saw that, Trevor. Y- yeah, sound more. I don't know if that's going to tie it. into the movies or what? But that's a thing. Um, I also have the Defenders and the Punisher trailer. I don't know if you guys oh, saw yeah. those. I've, yeah, I forgot. But that the, looks pretty cool. <laughs> the Punisher was just kind of like a teaser. It wasn't like a full trailer. Right, right. right? It was like a couple seconds. Yeah. I th- actually think he said like, "Oh, th- kept you waiting" or something shit like that. Or I finally, <laughs> I finally got in this, or I, f- I forget what it was. Yeah, he said something along the lines of that. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked for that. I like the actor they picked for the Punisher. I don't know if anyone's not seen uh, Daredevil season two yet, but he was a really good Punisher. Um. Oh, uh, Pacific Rim. I don't know if anyone else saw that trailer, but what? Was- no. Yeah, that's yeah. Pacific Rim Uprising. It was more of like a uh, like a propaganda commercial for the yeah. It was like a commercial, oh. but it, it looks pretty cool. Um, the Jaegers look different, not as um, what's the word I'm looking for rustic as they did in the first one. I they love very, Pacific Rim. They look very obviously CG'd and like shiny. Hmm. You know what I mean? I hope they don't ruin that movie because yeah, the I first one was glorious. God, the first one was so good. It was the Godzilla movie everybody wanted. What that f- the new Godzilla was good. I enjoyed no, it. Well, Pacific Rim was the was was came out before the new Godzilla movie, and the new Godzilla movie was freaking fantastic. Absolutely, love that. Yeah. but but like you know, every Godzilla movie we had before that was just kind of meh. Yeah, in my opinion. So like when Pacific Rim came out, I was just like, oh look at that, that's ah, so good. It's so good. I love yeah, that they showed movie. off. Um, who's the guy that played? Finn. John Boyega. Yeah, they showed it was uh, it was the the trailer had John Boyega, kind of um, trying to recruit people for the 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 Jaegers, which was pretty cool. Um, and then I have the Kingsman the Golden Circle. I don't know if you know what's all the first movie. I haven't, but I want to see it now after watching. You've not seen Kingsman. I have not. Tim really likes it. Oh my gosh, Trey! S- Kingsman S- is glorious. Dude, I, it looked amazing. I just haven't gotten around to it. Samuel Jackson is such a good bad guy. <laughs> it it looks like it's a now. I hope this isn't offensive, but it looks like it's supposed to be like, like over the top on purpose. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, it it is. It, it it's, like it. Yeah, it's self aware, right? Yeah, like it's not trying. Okay, like when you watch the fir- like you seriously watch the first one, it's glorious. You'll 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 really just enjoy the movie for the movie, the story, and everything's great. But you'll understand where they're coming from. Okay. It's like this one's about like um I don't know the main character's name, but him going to America to basically find like the American version of the Kingsman. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. That, that looks really cool. Yeah. No, it'll uh, be it'll be good. And it oh, has what's his face in it? Oh, um fuck, Tatum. What's his name? Tatum. Channing Tatum, yeah. That one. That guy. Um Oh, Bright. We got a new trailer for Bright. It's that um that cop set in a fantasy filled world with Will Smith. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah. Oh, Bro, is that the Netflix? Like that. Wait, is that the Netflix thingy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't seen anything I want to have heard about it. Oh, it you should so watch good. the trailer. I think you'd enjoy that. 
Seems up your alley. I will. I like Will Smith. Will Smith is the, one of the best actors He's ever. The best. Gifted to us. It, it looks interesting. It looks like it might, it might tackle some social issues. I don't know. We don't deserve Will Smith. I think it will. I think it would be good. It's got like the, like I said, it's like a fantasy world, but based in reality, right? Right. So basically it's like, it's modern day, but instead of just humans, it's like orcs and elves, mm-hmm. goblins and shit, all working together somewhat. It's almost like a, so, what's that? The Wolf Among Us, but with Will Smith instead. Yeah, that's a good comparison. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like the, all the, like, the fantasy call. characters are in like the ghettos of wherever they're like LA or some shit like that. Right. Looks good though. I'm pretty excited for that one. Especially because it's yeah, and that's I mean, Will Smith in a Netflix series? Like, yeah, please. Will right. Smith doing doing something. I feel like he like does one movie every two years now. Mm-hmm. But now we're getting him in this cool Netflix series and we're getting him for uh the genie and yeah. Aladdin. Like yeah, yeah. really really stoked for that. Wait, what? You didn't know that? No. Yeah. Okay, so run that by me one more time. I just need to make sure I heard that correctly. Yeah, so in the in the live action Aladdin movie, uh, Will Smith will be voicing the genie. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, he's gonna do such a good job, dude. Uh, Aladdin was my favorite Disney movie of all time, so that just makes it so. Now I'm sad, Robin Williams. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. <sighs> He's going to do a good job. I think if anyone I, were to fill the role of Genie, I think Will Smith will do a good job. He He's more deserving of it than anyone else I can think of. Yeah. He'll do a good job. I'm stoked. The uh, The other one that me and Trey watched that I think we both found really cool was, uh, what is it The Sound of Water? The Shape of Water. The Shape of Water. Yeah, Guillermo uh, del, that Toro. That's yeah, del Toro. Yeah, del Toro. Took on like a and nice it, little lovely film. I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah, it looked like a like a heartwarming kind of thing, um, but I think the the thing that me and Trey both picked up on is it seems like it's a like a Hellboy prequel with uh with Abe in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That the the actor like, that they used for that fish monster guy looks like pretty much exactly like Abe from Hell, Hellboy. Right, and and they fed him eggs. Like yep. that's pretty specific. <laughs> we'll see. It could be. Who knows? Unless that. Uh, it could be like maybe his nod, like maybe it's just like his nod Little to Abe, his uh, hat tip to Abe. Yeah, right. I, I could see that. Uh, the I will say one <laughs> thing that I I thought was kind of unfortunate about that because the the main character in this movie is um, a mute. Yep. So she actually has to um, like sign everything. So I, um, I've seen some people, especially in in that community feel a little um i don't know what upset isn't the right word but maybe disappointed is is the the word i'm looking for right. that they because that act that actress isn't actually mute so they could have found someone that you know actually spoke um you know mer- or a- that actually signed mm-hmm. um instead of getting someone that or i don't know i i feel like i'm not the the best voice of the of this issue since I I can't really speak to it, but I think that's a, a, a good, like a, a valid point. Someone that is mute probably doesn't get as uh, very many acting roles at all. Like, yeah. So this is like a, a perfect opportunity to, to let someone that, that is in that community have a, have such a, a great, great role with Del Toro. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, I, I don't just, uh, just kind of a, I don't think a lot of people think of that all the time. Um, I, with any, with any, um, oh shoot, what do I want to say? Uh, I don't know. It's like when you when you cast. Never mind. I'm gonna yeah, get it's, off it's onto kinda, a tangent. It's kind of like our, our whitewashing podcast that we did. Yep. So I'm yeah. not even gonna get into it. <laughs> see give, that give, podcast if you'd like. Go see that podcast. Yeah. Yeah. You'll probably hate me afterwards, yep. but that's fine. Um, I agree. Mo- with you, moving onward to some uh, some other trailers, what else did we see? We got a new Death Note trailer. Um, everything about that looks mm. like shit, except for I, dude, it can't <laughs> be good. It's not gonna be good, no. Um, other than um, what's his name, Ryuk. Ryuk looks awesome. Um, voiced yeah, because he's voiced by a Green Goblin. Yeah, what's his name? Um, William. 
Yep. That uh, guy. Uh, Will, Willem F- uh, uh, Dafoe. Yeah, William Dafoe. Yeah. Willem, Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. He looks awesome. Um, we also got yeah. um, an action movie. Um, I forget her the actress's name, but um, Proud Mary. That looks pretty cool. It's a, uh, a kick-ass black lady um, whipping up on some on people. Looks really good. Um, we were talking about The Shape of Water, uh, Triple Threat with some like kung fu movie. Um, we got a new Ninjago trailer. Um, I wasn't a fan of Ninjago, but that looks hilarious. Uh, I know right. the Just beginning of uh, the Batman Lego movie, we saw that, another trailer, a different one, and that was pretty funny. <laughs> when he calls him Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, Lloyd. <laughs> Um, now I don't know if this came out because of Comic Con or not. I I just remember watching it and it, I didn't put two and two together. If it did, did they release there? Because I know there was a new trailer of it. Because I watched it, it's amazing. The new Full Metal Alchemist live action trailer. They did not do it there. Okay, but yes, there was a new trailer. And it was so great. And Trevor, yes. you need to watch that already. I'm eventually. I'm trying to get him on that on that train. But Brotherhood uh, is sixty. We also got a new uh, The Walking Dead trailer. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, Ooh. that's yeah. I've got some thoughts on that. <laughs> that's looking. That's looking good. I guess. Be interesting. I think it definitely looks good. Like I, I like The Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. I, I like the. I think I've really enjoyed the the graphic novels. It. I think it takes a lot to, kind of feel, like read something or, or a graphic novel especially and feel kind of like unsettled, but there are a lot of the points when I was reading the graphic novel, I was like, damn. Yeah. Like this is some of this stuff is really fucked up. Yeah. Um, the, the comic is so good, dude. Or sorry, graphic right. novel. What do you want to title it? So, Tim, do you know what? Before I start talking, do you know what happens after Negan? No. Like story wise, do you want me to say? Am I gonna spoil it? You, you, I don't want you to say. I'm actually a very big fan of the series. Okay. Okay. We'll talk about it then. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be so, a Debbie Downer. No, 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 no. Um, because there's the the ending of the trailer. I'm I'm not very happy with. Because I, for that very reason, I feel like it kind of, it, it kind of spoils what happens after, um, like after this story arc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could see so that. So I, at least, it, it's kind of hard without like going into details, but I'm not going to ruin that for Tim, but for, for the readers of the graphic novel, they, they probably understand what I'm saying to where seeing that last scene with Rick, it kind of, from what I've, from what I gathered from it, it kind of gives away kind of a, a pretty, pretty big twist. Right. But I don't know if, if Tim hasn't picked up on it, maybe I'm wrong and I only know it because I've read the book. So those are my two cents. Now I'm going to like analyze that trailer. Right. Tim's going to be like up until four in the morning <laughs> with like, like those push pins and strings <laughs> and shit. <laughs> uh, we also got a new uh, stranger things trailer. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we did. Ooh. Such a thriller. Yeah, dude. Oh, thriller is such <laughs> a good, yeah. perfect for That was really good. Things. Yeah. My uh, it looks like so more uh, so much more action based. Oh, like God, there's yeah. there's so much going on. My buddy Mike is a huge Stranger Things uh fan, like huge. And mm-hmm. he did his Christmas card last year as a Stranger Things Christmas card and it was freaking fantastic. He also took the lightning storm that we had around here and he turned it all red and whatnot, like in the Stranger Things uh, uh, trailer and nice. like just That's did like cool. a whole thing. He's, he does some crazy because he's a, he's a photographer and he's uh, a night photographer. So he takes pictures of stars in the sky and stuff and he can do some crazy things with that stuff. So he's, I, I like Stranger Things for what it is. It's amazing. I can't wait for the, the second season. But I'm also, I, I like watching it and having that time because just see what he does with little things. It's, pretty awesome is that the same guy who did your uh the pictures of your car yeah the pictures of my car and With we're gonna go back out when stuff. i get my when i get my plates and hopefully when it's not so hazy outside to get some better pictures but yeah hell yeah those came out really good man yeah they, they're they nice they're you know some people complain they were too dark and they were a little dark here and there but i don't know i kind of thought it looked it looked good how it was it's badass I, I liked them thank you and then next up to plate, um, we got a new Star Trek Discovery trailer. I don't know if anyone saw that, but that looks pretty cool. I'm not a Star Trek fan myself, but it looks interesting. Nor am I. Um, I didn't see that trailer. I'm a Star Trek. I'm the Star. I'm a Star Trek movie fan. I'll be honest. I'm one of oh, those yeah, guys same. who the movies who are just cool. yeah who just got into Star Trek via the movies. Not that I didn't really care for the series of the television. 
Um, we, oh, we got um, uh, the snowman. I don't know if you know what's all that. That looks pretty cool. Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender. Yeah, man. I, watched that I haven't that, seen that it. That was pretty creepy. I'm I'm pretty interested interested in that. I didn't need to be a nice like th- thriller movie to watch. Um, it's like a guy who decapitates um, like women and puts like snowman heads on them or something. I don't know. It looks it's it's interesting. Um, I think the last one that I can think of, and it's probably the most hype one that I'm looking forward to, is Ready Player One. Oh yeah. Um, I well, I guess I wouldn't say the most hype that I'm looking forward to, but I am I'm I'm looking forward to this one because it looks really cool. I think we have like three copies of the book in our house, but we I've never read it. Um, it looks awesome. Like so many references in just the trailer, and it's it's. I'm very excited for what's going like what the movie's going to be like. Yeah, that looked really good. Um, it's one of those stories that I haven't gotten around to reading, but after watching that trailer, I think I'm I'm definitely going to pick it up, especially before the movie comes out. It yeah, doesn't yeah. it? It's cool to see all those. Doesn't it take place at like 2025 or something, like right around the corner? That's not that far off. No, yeah. like I, I remember I remember the, like when they said the age of this. I'm just like, man, this needs to hurry up then. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, I wouldn't want to live in like a, a stack like that. But no, oh, fuck that. Okay, it all depends. Okay, look, stuff. look, look, look. Let's face this. Okay, if you had the choice to live where we are now, or live in a, an interesting world environment like that, but look at what virtual reality gets you. I mean, but when you take off the goggles, <laughs> you live in a, sh- a shit world. I would, <laughs> I would not want to do that. But I just would never take them off. Inject me with food. <laughs> I'll figure it out. An IV there. bag of food. Yeah. All right. Guys, VR is the next step. Trust me. Just I was going to say, like, everyone seemed to be, like, like really into it in, uh, in VR. And I'm like, I'm totally okay with that. Like, I can go anywhere in the world in VR. Uh, I can't really do that in real life and afford it. So... Right. Go ahead and fucking plug me in. Guys, we have three months until Fallout VR. I'm just saying. Hell That's pretty yeah. cool. I might not make it. <laughs> oh, Trey's my, uh, Trey's my witness on this. So watching, it was when Zach was over, I was watching the Ready Player One trailer, and I picked up on these notes, right? Like throughout the whole thing, it's like, duh, na, na. And I'm like, wait, that sounds fucking familiar. Then as I'm watching it, they keep doing it. I'm like, that's fucking pure imagination from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> and, and I was like, that fits. I'm like, that, that makes perfect sense because it's about VR and imagination. I'm like, I'm, I fucking got this. I picked up on some shit. <laughs> and Zach's like, and Zach's like I, I, don't know if, I don't know if Zach was just being nice. I couldn't really tell. But he was like, oh, yeah, I could see that. So it's like, I don't know if you really believed me or if he was just right. like, sure, Trevor, like whatever the fuck you say. <laughs> but I knew it. I fucking knew it. And at the end, they did the other part, um, the dun, dun, like the chimes before the song begins. It's like, dun, dun, dun. and I was like, there it is. There it is again. I fucking got this. Yeah, could and be. I, was, I don't see why I wouldn't, you know? No. So here's the thing, right? So I was like real dedicated about that. And I, I went out and I showed Trey it and he was just kind of like, yeah, yeah, sure. That, I could see that. The fucking next day, before I can even say anything, BuzzFeed puts out an article like, "Here's the here's the Willy Wonka part of the trailer that that everybody missed. 100 percent of people missed." I'm like, <laughs> "I didn't fucking miss it. I got it. You're, you're stealing my thunder, BuzzFeed." <laughs> everybody Wrong. called me a liar. Everybody said I was crazy. Look now, am I crazy now? <laughs> with your, with your freaking reverse. I don't know. What what's the, I hate BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed's just awful. I'm not. That's a whole another podcast too. Yeah. We, I just made a list of like three other podcasts we could talk about <laughs> just to make my rant. So. Um. Anyways, yeah. Willy Wonka was in it, and I called it, and no one believed me, and then it was there. So I just want to. <laughs> I just want there. that written in stone. Trevor called it, guys. Give him credit. Trevor called that's it. Like 2017. All the in there. there was like Freddy Krueger. There was like the Halo AR. There Laura was, Croft. Uh, yeah, Laura Croft. Um, uh, De- Akira. <laughs> yeah, Akira. Deadshot and Harley Quinn were in there. Uh, Back to the Future, the DeLorean. Iron Giant. Uh, Knight Rider. Yeah. Uh, what a Bigfoot. Just like straight up Bigfoot, like the monster truck was in it. 
there's all kinds yeah. of stuff, man. I'm I'm pretty excited for the movie just because it looks like such a I don't know, like this is wild. It's like Easter egg full movie. It's gonna be awesome, right? I think that's I don't know. I can't. I don't really see anything else on this list that I have here. Was there anything else from you guys? I saw a bunch of like no, I, really cool statues and like Lego stuff, but that's about it. No. Yeah, I think I think we we covered a lot of the the movie stuff, and we could go we could go into you know some of the the smaller stuff, but I I think we covered quite a bit. Um, and that's that's kind of like the biggest news of summer. Now the next thing we have to look forward to is Gamescom. Gamescom. Yep. And uh, that's that's coming up here uh just in a couple weeks oh yeah oh fuck you're right damn so that's where that's where we heard about legion before so maybe we'll we'll get some more news about this next expansion the next expansion like announcement i see i'm i'm thinking we just for my opinion i don't think we will just because they still haven't launched 7.3 so i don't think they want to hype their next expansion before their last patch is out Mm. Hmm. We're gonna get a Skyrim port for the 3DS. <laughs> for the 3DS. <laughs> yeah. It's the next one. It's the next big game announcement from Bethesda. That'd so their their phone game came out, and I tried to download it on my phone, and I did, but it won't load up, and I'm disappointed. Womp womp. Yeah, that's my news for today. I Tim's guess we news missed <laughs> for bear. Fuck it. This week in Tim's world. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls card game will not play. Tim is sad. <laughs> oh yeah, did we mention Westworld? The Westworld trailer? I didn't oh, yeah, see we the didn't Westworld, Westworld trailer. No, I didn't know there was one. Okay, so we won't it talk about it since Tim hasn't seen it yet, but it looks awesome. It look, I mean, no surprise there. It looks good. They, it doesn't really give any indication as far as like what's going to happen in the series. Right. It's just a bunch of the same like awesome shit. Oh, great. Now I know it's a sa- bunch of the same old awesome shit. Thanks, Trevor. Right. No, no, I'm not saying that it's not worth watching. Definitely give oh, it a shot. Oh, no, it's cool. I get it. i basically seen the trailer <laughs> already. Thank you. You're welcome. You are welcome. So, yeah, I think that uh, that about wraps it up for this week's podcast. We'll be back next week with another episode. It's going to be our 10th episode. You know, Number double 10. digits. Woo! That's pretty cool. The, the double digit podcast. That's okay. So we'll, be like, we'll, talk about. we'll be like uh, Gamertag Radio and we'll get up to like 600 and something that they're at now. There we go. We'll get there. One day. Cool. We're on the way. At 600 and something, we're going to stop because we <laughs> hit our goal. All right. We hit our goal. Uh, thanks Thanks for the ride, guys. It. Yep. No it's more. It's been fun. <laughs> Bye. Fam's canceled. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, lots, of, lots of cool stuff coming up, so be on the lookout on our Twitch, YouTube channels. Check us out there. As usual, follow us on the socials to stay up to date. And until next week, see you later, guys. Later, guys. Have a good one.